Hi everyone, so in Season 27, Autolancer seems to be back on the menu. I've been trying out this new golem corpse power that the necros got in Season 27, and right now it's a little bit buggy, so it gives you like a bit more corpses than intended, but it wouldn't really matter much if that is fixed, I believe. Maybe not even at all, because of the mechanics that make it very favorable towards you as a player. So the way that this power works is that the golem can pick up up to two corpses per second and you can use any corpse skill with the maximum amount of corpses it can use for each corpse that the golem has. So you can collect up to 30, which means that you can press devour 30 times and every time you press devour I believe you consume 10 corpses shooting 10 lances in all directions and you can see the stuff flying all over the screen and annihilating enemies. This is a GR110, my gear was really unoptimized here so this can be definitely a bit better and uh, yeah it's it's working really well actually I was very impressed because Pestilence is with all those reworks that we have gotten recently probably the worst set in the game remaining now and it does a pretty good job at just blasting through those GR 110s. I really hope that when they eventually get around to reworking Pestilence it's gonna become something similar to this you know some kind of like more auto lancer kind of playstyle with you know a bit more power and this is exactly what I would like to see from this in the future. But for now we have the season 27 power, we have those corpses that just allow you to just shoot all the time even with Leonard dead down and it does a pretty good job. I had a lot of fun trying this out and I can just recommend you that if you don't like for example Rafma for GR speed farming this might be a really nice contender. It is definitely going to be weaker than Rafma so you can probably go five to ten tiers higher. It's definitely one of the best builds in next season but Autolancer is right there and if you're willing to give up a little bit of power you can play it. The playstyle is really simple so you just walk around, you try to dodge enemy attacks as much as you can because you're not really super tanky but because everything around you is automatically getting targeted by those lances it's also getting slowed. I'm running the poison rune that slows enemies so we automatically proc crispin, we automatically are a lot safer because of the slows. You have the bone armor dislocation to stun elite packs and just kill them with the crispin effect. It does work really well even without the blood rush. Because you can just keep walking forward through the rift, you still complete it in a pretty good time. All you really have to do is manage your Naya's black death stacks a little bit, so you have to press all of your poison skills once every 15 seconds if you can, so that includes mostly the bone armor and the golem, and you have to numlock the devourer to automatically shoot all the lances for you. It's even more fun when you go down a few tiers, so you see me here doing 105, and everything just melts instantly as so you can probably even do like sub two minute runs even just walking through the rift on a good map because yeah you just you just keep moving forward and never have to stop you never have to attack it is pretty cool just something that i felt was worth highlighting here for the necromancers which are shaping up to be probably the overall best class next season so they have the new Tragul, the Nova rework, then they have a bunch of really good powers, they have really strong builds in general, and it looks like Necromancers have some builds for every scenario. It can be a trash killer, it can be boss killer, you have the rats for speedruns, you have decent T16 builds, strong solo push, so everything is there for the Necromancer, and this is just another option here. The Outer Lancer is an old tried and true playstyle, and if this holds up through the PTR and to the live release, I'm gonna make like a more detailed guide for this. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Subscribe for more Diablo content, and I'll see you guys next time.